Again, like we have been chanting that we are coming for them, that this is a secret that they should get uncomfortable because Gambian women have gathered the courage to start to speak about what they have done today. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a mixture of feelings. It's being scared, uh, being intimidated to a certain level, but also very proud because when I was coming out with my story, this is not what I anticipated. Very much at peace at, you know, the fact that the Gambian women have embraced it and that is all I've looked for. That is why I did what I did. So I'm okay with that. Yeah. Do you feel bored at all? Too, let's take it by turns. Too far. Um, are you looking forward to talking to the TRRC and testifying to them about your experiences with Yaya Dam? Um, the TRRC, I'm sure, will set up a session specifically for sexual violence in general, whether it's between the government or uh, mostly between the government in our prison system as well for people that were um, arrested, especially the women wing, what, the things that have been happening there. So I hope this um, inspires them to have that session. And if they do, of course. I would definitely be at the TRC because if I'm invited. You're currently talking to them, so we want to know if yeah, you're looking I, forward to talking to them. I'm looking forward to talking to them. They have reached out. Yeah. Um, Tupa, why did it take you so long to come out to speak? Um, um, again, that question is a question I do not encourage being asked to survivors because there is nothing like too long or too soon for survivors. It's completely up to them and how they feel. There is a process to this. Secondly, for me, whether you call it long or short, four years is really not long for someone to deal with the trauma of being raped by a president of a country. And for the two years out of the uh, four years, he's here. I was not here. My family is here. My mom is here. My siblings are here. We all know how risky it is. Not only the social backlash, but also Yaya Jambe's backlash at the time. And the other two years, I've used it to work with investigations, to work on myself, because I need to be at a certain mental space to be able to do what I'm doing. So yeah, but again, it can take another survivor 10 years. It's okay to come out when they feel comfortable. When you came up with your story, I mean, there were, it was not certainly without criticisms and questioning here and there. Do you feel bothered by that? Was there a moment when you felt like I should not have done this in the first place? Oh no, not a moment like that, especially right now seeing all these women. I am more pumped than ever to talk about it. It's a new conversation we are beginning to have. Of course people are going to criticize it. I mean, at this point there are some people, even if you bring dead bodies, bones to them, they will say it's bones of cats and uh, you know, of course I expected that. I saw that coming, but it's not going to stop the conversation. And people will jump to saying, oh you are lying, because that stops them from from having a further conversation. When I jump and say, oh, you are lying, it stops the possibility to talk any further and because they have the inability to have this conversation. So that is their burden, that is their um, um, inability to have a conversation. And I'm comfortable in that because the people that want to have the conversation are having the conversation. And at some point, so, they will I'm join. Your statement, um, President Jamie proposed marriage to you. Why did you still, um, you know, at this point, that's where back towards you. Why did you still continue visiting the State House? Um, I think you should read the report or maybe follow up my story that I did not visit on the basis of just wanting to visit, but follow up on the report. You will have more details Super, on that. Um, so how many people mean, have undergone you know, sexual abuse and sexual violence, and this is a movement for all those who have undergone right. you know, sexual abuse. Why the name Tufa? Why does the movement have to you know, carry your name? Oh no, it's not about carrying my name. If you listen to the end here, I was saying that I am Tufa is a set of experiences, is a face that actually defines the experience of sexual assault. I said I am too far because too far came out. I said I am too far because I wanted my name to be very loud and clear to the perpetrator that has done what he has done to me. So I am too far is a hashtag. It's not a definition of me. It's a definition of my experiences, which is very common with other women as well. So, far, do you have any plans to help uh, fellow survivors? Of course. Yeah, this is one of those to show them that it's okay to talk about it. Also setting up the Tufa Foundation is going to help with um, having youths that will be trained to help lobby bills at the National Assembly because we have not been doing that. We expect the National Assembly, of course, yeah, to bring in um, expert therapists, whether within the country or outside. Anyway, we can help have it from to have a space, space where women can come and discuss these issues and also seek help. Sure, I'm definitely planning on that. Tupa, my last question. Can you tell us what's the future now? Are you going to go back to Canada, if I'm wherever it is where you're staying, or yep. are you going to 
So when, when, how long are you going to be in Gambia? I'm going to be here as long as I can. I can't give the time frame of that. But I'll be going back and forth. When I was coming from Canada, I wasn't planning all of this. So it's so much to, to settle back in Canada, so much to, to go and shut out. But definitely we'll be working, setting up a foundation, and I'll be here. No, I haven't abandoned them. Again, this is it's not completely about me. It's a set of ideas, it's a set of experiences, and I can't do it alone. I am here, I would be here. I have a team that would be here, but I would definitely be going back and forth. And if it gets to a place that the need is really higher than anticipated, I don't mind say, staying because I believe in this cause and I feel like it's a lifelong project. Yeah. Thank you very much, Trufa, for talking to us.